This is the original form of hands-free driving, otherwise known as an LRT train. This, of course, is the Green Line Extension, otherwise known as the Southwest Light Rail Project. Why are we building a light rail here? If you're trying to attract businesses to your city, what do you need? You need good schools for the families, you need relatively good housing prices, and then you don't want people sitting in traffic for an hour and a half to get to work back and forth. With one ticket, when it's all done, you can go all the way from Southwest Station in Eden Prairie to St. Paul if you like. It's gonna be a beautiful trip. You're gonna be elevated just between here and Hopkins on five bridges. And you're gonna be above and beyond going over the highways and in through corridors that you otherwise wouldn't have any access to because previously it was private property. The forecasts of our MPR, Metropolitan Council, down in the Southwest Corridor, I think it's one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing corridor in the state right now. You've got approximately 80,000 plus jobs forecasted in the next 15 or 20 years. So they're forecasting just between the 14 and a half miles from Target Field to Southwest Station, something like 55,000 plus people will be living within a half mile of the LRT line. We're even 50% through the civil construction here throughout the whole corridor on average. And I think we've got over $1.5 billion in investment already. And this provides that opportunity for folks to be able to live in the suburbs. And there are many people who don't want to invest, you know, 10 grand or whatever the average fee is for a car. They like transit, they want to go back and forth, and they also want to live out here. So this creates opportunity, right, for reverse commutes, for work, for people to flow back and forth. If you've got somebody who is, is kind of limited for transportation reasons, time reasons, and they're living in the city, now they have an option. It creates more equity in our system for people to be able to come down here to go to work and to get a good paying job down in Eden Prairie. Or whether it's Hopkins or whether it's St. Louis Park, there's going to clearly be people who are going to benefit economically by having that kind of access down to the suburbs here and create more connectivity between us.